Uh, it's never too early for lists. I love them. They're amazing. The power rankings. You guys are sort of splitting the duties on this, and we'll start at 10 and knock it out. So uh, Chandler, you're kicking this thing off. Yeah, okay, at 10, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. They're finally healthy. I think they have a chance to really rise on these rankings and get in that five, six range. I think this is the team we expected to be uh, start off this season after a first round exit to the Knicks last year. They're finally healthy. They got Garland back. They got Mobley back. They're on one of the hotter teams, them and the Knicks, who Excuse Unfortunately, me? we left off this. How did you the leave ranking. the Knicks? They were 11. There's not enough room on the screen. The Knicks were... have won eight in a row. <laughs> right. Cavs have only won two in a row. It's, uh, it's like the Orlando Magic in the beginning of the season power rankings when they were like 11 mm -hmm. and four. It's like, oh, do we really think they were 11? Like that team. Same thing with the Knicks. I think they're. I think they're on the rise. I think they can make it in here. But for now, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers at the 10 spot with a chance potential to go up. All right. At number nine, I'm going with the Sacramento Kings. Sitting at fifth place in the West. Just middle of the pack team right now. Hadn't really set themselves apart from the team that they were in these past couple of seasons. And so with that, the eight teams that are ahead of them, I don't think they're better. So I got them going at nine. Kings have put four in a row together. Not bad, not bad. Okay, at eight, we have Phoenix Suns. Another team that I think is gonna continue to get better. When they're healthy, that big three is rolling. They're gonna, they're gonna be a team to beat in the Western Conference. Between them, the Clippers, the Nuggets, I think those are the most poised, experienced, vet teams. You have teams like the Thunder in Minnesota that have great starts, but this team is gonna be scary come postseason. There's seven games over 500, and I think that's gonna continue to get better and better. This is Yeah, I think this is a team, by the next time we do this, they're definitely top five in a, in a power rankings and they, and they start to get going. But right now at present date, I think this is appropriate. So at number seven, I'm gonna go with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Mm. Even though they're sitting one game out of the one spot, I still feel like this is one of the teams that is, that's still inexperienced when it comes to the playoffs, when it's gonna come to a deep playoff run. And I think that's gonna, that's gonna bite them um, in the ass when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to the time of the matter. So can I say it? they can't, can say it? yeah, they can't crack the, the top five for me right now. So I got the Thunder at seven. Even though they're having a hell of a season, they are. I expect them to do a lot of work, but I think their inexperience catches up. Yeah, there's just something about obviously this team. It's probably the youth of this team that you just we don't trust. We, we don't Not trust, yet. but they are they are the brightest future, obviously, in the NBA. Well, could they be disruptors? I mean, it just takes one. I think so, and I think they're going to add a, a, some size there to help Chad to move him to the four but this is an exciting team and they have a bright, bright future. Right. Now, up to seventh, yeah. Ooh, at serious. six, <laughs> is Philadelphia 76ers. I'm pretty sure we told Conrad we wanted him seventh. Or the I don't sixth. think you did. Not a big deal, Conrad, I don't think you did. but we'll run with you did it. Not. This, now, the Sixers, this team scares me a little bit. With Joel going down with the, the you know this threshold that he's going to continue to try and Maxie play. Maxie being in and out. Maxie being in and out of the lineup. I can see this team sliding a bit, and, that, and that's, that's not good. But for them to have a chance, they need fully healthy, they need to buy Tobias Harris, Kelly Uber, need guys like that to really step up and play well. Um, so they're at six right now, but I, I do see them. I see all those teams that are seven, eight, nine, ten, kind of leapfrogging them. Wow, that's actually a big statement. I bet I agree. Definitely with can you. agree with Chandler there. At number five, I am going with the defending champion, five. Denver Nuggets. I just feel like this team, they're top five, but I feel like they're cruising right now. They, they've seen what it takes. They know what it takes to be successful and get to where they need to go. So I just feel like they're not putting a lot of pressure on these teams out here. They're still getting quality wins, but I still feel like their energy, they're just cruising through the, po the regular season, trying to get to the postseason. And that, that's when they turn that knob. So I got them sitting at five. Oh. At number four, we have the Milwaukee Bucks. And this is another team to me, it's like a Philly where they're scary. They can go one of two ways. They can really take off now with Doc Rivers, where they can figure out their defensive schemes, their coverages. Um, their offense is always going to be potent. Their offense is always going to be elite. But this team is going to be one of the teams that's there at the end of the Eastern Conference. They're going to have to battle it out with the Celtics or the or the uh, Sixers. I think that. I feel like we're taking for granted that it's going to be Sixers and Bucks in the end. Like, well, I, I, do I you, wonder. Do you think the the Knicks or the Cavs are really going to? I mean, it's hard to tell. But right now, they are. They just seem to be I having fun. I don't think I said that. You, you, I like Celtics Bucks. Mm. Yeah, I like okay, Celtics Bucks. We'll see. Maybe we should place a bet on it. But yeah, I think this team. I think they have a chance to continue to get better. They're healthy now. Guys like Jay Crowder, Pat Connaughton. They're going to really have to defend and, and continue to you know play play uh, play well on that side of the of the ball. So I see them kind of sticking right here. I do think they'll end up finishing second in the Eastern Conference. Hmm. Right. I think them sitting at them sitting at four is is based strictly on what the potential of what that team can be. So I think they deserve to be right there in four. No, Number three, I'm going with the T-Wolves. Um, sitting number one in the West, 
playing really good basketball. You got to give this this team young, this young team a lot of credit, man. With Anthony Edwards, Cat playing well, Rudy Gobert having an opportunity to be Defensive Player of the Year again. This is a team that's playing really well. They're actual contenders. I'm still giving them the inexperience card as well as the Thunder, even though they're two or three spots uh, behind them because I, I I think just with the Eastern Conference, you got to factor them in as well. But I think they have the same problem as the Thunder. A lot of postseason inexperience, but I still got them at number three. Yeah, I got to say, this is a team that I didn't I didn't see this happening. I didn't. I thought they were fool's nope. gold a little bit. I thought they were going to kind of tinker off, but this team is can defend. This team is great at home. They're 17-4 and four at home. They get home court advantage. I can see them advancing, and they're a, real, they're a real threat. They have size. They have defense. They have an absolute star in Anthony Edwards. And Carl Anthony Towns has shown he can still go get you 60 on any given night in a loss. In a loss. Um, <laughs> okay, now we're down to the nitty-gritty here, Michelle. Oh, yes. Now it's we're down real. to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> I preferably would have probably flipped these two again, not to throw anybody under the bus, but I think the Celtics, I think they're the best team in the NBA, but we got them at two right now. They did just lose by 19 to who we have at one. But I think this yeah. is the most poised team. I think this is the best duo in the NBA. Everyone knows the depth. They're a little thin, but when they're healthy and they have Przingis playing at the level he's playing, Drew Holiday has been a game changer for them. I think this is just their chance. I think this is their year. I think they will be the NBA champions this year. But right now, really? we got them at two. Yeah, you gotta, gotta respect them. Bench or no bench, this team is very consistent. And you gotta, you just gotta go with them and not bet against them. So for my number one spot, it is obviously gonna be the Los Angeles Clippers. Sitting at fourth place in the West, but I don't think there's a team in the league that's playing better basketball than them, them right now. So when we talk about power mm -hmm. rankings, when we talk about making a real run at a championship, this looks like the team that has all of the components. They can defend, they have four different, they actually have five or six different guys that can put 20 on the board, they have depth. And the most important thing out of everything that Russell Westbrook has brought to the table for the team, they're having a ton of fun. It looks like they actually enjoy playing with each other and building and um, embracing the process of trying to put together a championship run. So I, I like the Clippers at number one right I now. I can't and wait to get where my app works so I can put some money to, in that plus 700. And to me, this is the one team that they really struggle on the road. So getting home court advantage, they're 11 and 11 on the road and they're 19 and four at home. So home court advantage is a huge, huge priority for this team. So I expect them to continue to play hard, continue to try and get as many wins as possible because they need home court advantage come playoff time. If both sides are healthy, it's the best of seven. Celtics or Clippers, who are you taking? Clips. Yeah. Celtics. Interesting. I, I feel like there I'm with go. Lou, weirdly enough. I, if you would have told me this months ago, no chance. The, these two teams are actually both two places that I consider my second homes, but I, I just, I, I like the Clippers right now. So. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. It'll them. be a hell of a series. Uh, quick Definitely. break, when we come back, a little you buying that. Run it back. Run it up, then run it back, run it back, run it up, run it back, run it up.